Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we're going to learn about the top five online business ideas of 2020. Now, let's begin. Number one, search engine optimization. Every business wants one thing, to get attention. You need to attract customers, to outdo the competition, and to let the world know what you have to offer. And these days, there's one foolproof technique to get the attention you're looking for, and that's search engines. Many companies around the world rely on search engines to generate business. On its own, Google sees around 63,000 searches every single second. That's over 5.6 billion searches each and every day. No matter what field or industry you're in, that's a lot of people, a lot of potential customers, so you need to make sure your company shows up as often as possible. But most don't realize how you actually climb ranks on any search engines. It's just not about popularity. You could find your website on page 10, even if you have plenty of customers. The real secret is search engine optimization, or SEO. The goal of SEO is to create online content that's searchable. The actual definition of what searchable means would take a bit too long to explain, so I'll just say this. SEO checks the right boxes and presses the right buttons to get you as close to the top as possible. Because that's what it's all about, right? About 40% of people click on the first link they find on Google. And another huge percentage never leaves the first page. In other words, if your website stands at the top, you'll get more attention. And attention means potential business. So how can you turn SEO into an online business? More and more online companies are sprouting up every single day. And all of those companies need someone or some way to get attention. But very few of them know how to navigate the complicated world of search engines. So why not fill that void? Set aside a few hours a week to learn SEO. There are plenty of classes, videos, and blogs that can teach you everything you need to know. It might sound difficult right now, but if you put in the time up front, you'll profit immensely down the road. Because SEO experts are constantly in demand. Every business needs online attention, so every business is going to need someone like you. Number 2. Personal Consultation Every day, millions of people scour the internet looking for someone to help them, someone to manage their business, or to give them health and fitness advice. Personal consultation is, in any category, an incredibly lucrative place to start your business. So whether you're coaching, giving advice, or leading an online course, consultation makes for a very natural and profitable business because you're using knowledge that you already have. Nine times out of ten, you're taking something you already know and just applying it to someone else's life. Because that's the part that people really need help with. They know the facts, they've memorized the tips and tricks, but they don't know how to put those theories into practice. So that's where you come in. Now, of course, it can be a little challenging to get your consultation business off the ground. No one's going to pay you unless they feel like you can actually help them. But how do you prove how much you're worth? The key is this. Value first, execution later. In other words, you want to create as much intention and value as you can in the beginning. You got to show them that you have something to offer without actually solving the problem for them. Because if you can prove your worth, people will pay you to finish the job. Now, of course, that's not the only way to get people interested. In the consultation business, testimonials are key. You need proof that you've actually helped people in the past. So when you're first starting out, don't worry about trying to rake in a big check. Just try to help someone, analyze their problem, and use your expertise to get them on the right track. If you do a good job, those people may leave you a great testimonial, which gives your business the reputation you need to succeed. Number 3. Affiliate Marketing you can find this kind of business anywhere online, but very few people understand what affiliate marketing actually means. To put it simply, affiliate marketing is when a content creator promotes a product or service which ultimately brings in new customers, and it stirs up new business. So naturally, the content creator gets a piece of the pie. Every time someone buys one of those products, thanks to the creator's marketing, of course, they get a small commission. It may only get a small percentage, but let's say they bring in thousands of new customers. 
Hey, those commissions may add up pretty quick, and you may find yourself making hundreds if not thousands of dollars overnight, which means you're earning a stable income without lifting a finger. Now that you get the gist, let's dive a little deeper. Affiliate marketing breaks down into three pieces. First, you have the merchant. The merchant is any person or business who has something to sell. Their goals are pretty simple. Popularity, name recognition, and customers. The next piece of the puzzle is the affiliates. That's probably going to be you. Affiliates are typically online promoters. Some are just a single person, others are an entire company. It really doesn't matter as long as the affiliate generates a lot of traffic, because traffic means attention and attention means business. Now here's the beauty of being an affiliate. You aren't limited to a single merchant. You could advertise one product one week, then another the next, and you'll earn commissions for both because online content continues to circulate long after its original publication. So if you're smart about it, you could find yourself making all kinds of money in no time. And last but not least, we have the consumer, the third piece of the puzzle, which is the most important part of the process. Because your commissions don't exist if no one buys that product, that's why presentation is such an important thing to consider. How are you presenting your product? Why would people take the time to click on your link or to pay money for something you recommend? So what should you take away from all this? If you want to get into affiliate marketing, you need to remember two things. Number one, attention is a resource just like money. If you're a popular content creator, you have it, so put it to good use. And number two, your audience should be your biggest concern. Take the time to think about the people you're appealing to and the way you're marketing a product because your presentation can make or break your business. If you can do that, affiliate marketing may be your path to online success in 2020. Number four, the membership model. If you're looking for a stable monthly income, membership programs are the way to go. Whether you're teaching, consulting, or selling merchandise, memberships are great ways to establish a consistent community for your service or product. The idea is pretty simple. Let's say you're offering fitness consulting. When a customer visits your site, they get a small taste of what you have to offer. They read a couple of posts, view some testimonials, and watch some short videos. Because you need to prove to potential customers that your content is worth the money. If you did your job, that customer is going to want more. They'll run out of free stuff to look at, so they'll pay the small fee to get a look behind the curtain. And after paying that fee, they get access to all kinds of exclusive services, like personalized routines, exclusive merchandise, and the opportunity to talk and interact with you directly. And that exclusivity keeps them coming back for more. But what if you're not offering a service? How can you apply a membership program to a new line of products? Well, many companies use a system called box subscriptions. In a box subscription, companies send monthly collections of small product samples. Those samples not only encourage people to continue receiving boxes, they also generate business for the individual products. Customers get a chance to try them out, so they're more likely to order them again. In both examples, the membership model is serving an important purpose. It's creating a community. It encourages people to invest in you, your product, and your company's personality. They won't mind paying the monthly membership because they've learned to trust you as a provider, and that makes them feel like they're getting their money's worth. Number 5. Informational Content do you want to turn your hobbies into a career? If the answer is yes, an online business may be your best bet. Start by asking yourself one simple question. What am I good at? It could be anything, a sport, a craft, or maybe you just know a lot about a specific subject. Whatever it is, you can turn your area of expertise into a successful business. Informational media has been expanding online for years because there's no limit on what you can talk about. In fact, some of the most obscure subjects develop huge followings. Millions of people watch videos on niche hobbies like woodworking or ceramics. No matter what you're passionate about, there will always be people who share your interests. So use that to your advantage. Create a YouTube channel or advertise yourself on social media. If entertainment isn't your thing, you could also produce instructional videos, weigh in on controversial topics, or write a weekly blog. Uh, but here's the best part. These are all things you can do in your spare time, and every one of them could help you build a fan base to gain popularity or educate a worldwide audience. 
So don't wait. Turn your interests into a lucrative business and make 2020 the year you find online success. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.